Hello, my name is Wayne Godser from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. This tech tip will cover an overview of port mirroring and the steps to configure port mirroring on the VSP9000. Port mirroring is the process of sending an exact copy of network packets seen on one network switch port to another port so that the packets can be captured for analysis. The VSP9000 is capable of mirroring entire VLANs or multi-link trunks on the system. The port mirroring process is used to monitor network traffic for various reasons including to isolate a fault on the system, to analyze and debug data packets, or for intrusion detection purposes. In our tech tip, we will view the options available to us when configuring port mirroring using the question mark parameter. We'll configure a port mirroring entry ID number to identify our specific port mirroring configuration. We'll configure the in port, which is the port on the system that we want to mirror, and we'll identify the out port, which is the port on the system which will receive the mirrored packets. We'll select the mode of packet capture, which in our case will be bidirectional. Here you have multiple options, such as receive, which is the default, transmit, or bidirectional. Once you complete your configuration, a network sniffer or PC with packet capture software is attached to the out port to capture the packet trace. We'll enable mirroring for our port mirroring entry ID number 1. We'll verify our port mirroring configuration is correct using the show command. And finally, we'll clean up by deleting our port mirroring entry ID number 1 and verify the entry has been deleted on the system. In our first command, we'll view the port mirroring options available to us. Using the question mark at the end of our command, we'll display all of our possible options. Now we'll configure our port mirroring entry ID number 1. This is a unique identifier and there can be multiple entry IDs configured on the system at the same time. We'll define our in port and out ports. In our example, our in port will be slot 3 port 47 and our out port will be slot 3 port 48. We'll configure our packet capture mode as bidirectional using the both parameter. At this point, we would connect our packet sniffer to port 348 to capture our packet trace originating from our in port, which was defined as 347. Next, we will enable mirroring on our port entry number 1 using the enable command. Next, we will verify our port mirroring config is correct using the show command. Here, you can verify the port mirroring entry ID, the mirrored and mirroring ports are correct. Once we've completed our packet capture, we'll clean up and remove the port mirroring configuration for entry ID number 1 using the no command followed by the port mirroring entry ID. This will remove all configuration associated with entry ID number 1. Finally, we'll confirm our cleanup was successful using the show command again. As you can see, our configuration has been deleted. As we've seen here in our tech tip today, Port mirroring is very easy to set up on the VSP9000 and is an extremely useful tool for fault isolation and troubleshooting. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor.avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.